Dola Lejean, real estate broker with Real Broker in South Louisiana. Looking like it's going to be a rainy, cloudy weekend. So if you are on the wet roads today, please be careful. Um, you know, it's crazy, crazy to think about because when I think about um, the way that I grew up, I wasn't supposed to be a success. In fact, no one in my in my whole family, my mom was one of seven children. And so she had lots of uh, nieces and nephews. My grandparents had lots of grandchildren. No one had gone to college. No one had gotten a college degree. And my mom was raising me and my brother and sister as a single mom um, who didn't have a college degree either. I was not supposed to be anything. And I remember believing that from the time I was little that um, no one really expected me to be successful. Um, and so I almost grew up having something to prove, having to prove to people that no matter where I came from, or what little we had, I just had something, I don't know what really, something about me that was resilient, hard-headed, um, determined, and just knew that I could do anything I chose to do. And so I think gratitude plays a whole lot in that. And believe me, um, the fact that I woke up this morning and I'm able to go about my life and, and make my own choices, that is something to be so thankful for. I think about, um, you know, people that live in other countries that really don't have the freedoms that we have. And so, so, so many people you know, complain about things. And I think to myself, we are so freaking blessed to wake up in a free country every single day and we get to decide our fate. We get to decide our fate. And there was so many things along the way with me growing up and the situations that happened. Listen, I could write books and books and books of the things that happened. There's no reason I should be successful today, none. And so when I see people who, who complain and who don't make good choices and who just do things to make their lives worse, I don't necessarily pity them because listen, Pretty much everything that could have happened to me growing up happened to me. There's no reason I should be successful today. Um, no one helped me go to college. In fact, when I graduated from college, I had more than $40,000 in college debt because I had no assistance, no help. There was nothing that was going to stop me from getting a degree. And the one thing that my mom always told me growing up was, you don't ever want to be dependent on anyone because the whole time we were growing up she was a single mom who had divorced who had divorced my dad and who basically went from man after man after man after man because she didn't have the means or the or the know-how or the want to or the whatever it was to independently support her own self so she was always dependent on a man um, to help us survive and so I just remember thinking I'm going to do whatever I need to do to always be able to support myself. So thankfully, I have an amazing husband, amazing support system, but listen, that, that was making good choices. There's always something to be grateful for. And I'm listening to an um, audio book right now called The Happiness Project. Um, I think it's called Sean Anchor. And do you know they say that, he talks about how happy, grateful people are the most successful people. That happiness and being thankful and grateful for the little things, all the little things that happen to us on a daily basis will make us more 
thankful when those big things come along because there's always those little things to be thankful for. Listen, I'm thankful every single morning I wake up and my feet hit the ground, right? So many people don't even have that opportunity to just physically be able to walk, right? So those little, little, little things to be thankful for. I remember my very first closing um, was a $10,000 piece of property. The commission on it was 2.5%, which meant that I made $250, but I didn't really because I was working for a brokerage where I had to give them 50%. So that means that 250 very quickly turned into 125. And then after I paid 25% taxes, that went down, right? And then all the fees that we have to pay as a realtor, monthly fees, annual fees, all the fees, basically it was almost breaking even or in the negative. And I'm telling you, I was so, so, so thankful to be sitting at that closing table and receiving that little bitty check because it meant that I was an official realtor. It meant that I had closed my first deal and I could finally say, I have made it, I am, I am actually a realtor. Uh, it didn't feel real until I got that first paycheck. And listen, what a lot of people don't realize is that in February of 2019, um, I was working at Katie Parish School Board and the superintendent that had started six months prior to that in July of 2018, him and I butted heads from day one. We didn't have the same vision at all, at all. Um, and I had been in the system for 20 years at that time, so I knew that I could retire. Thank God I could retire. But he came into my office on February uh, of 2019 and put me on administrative leave without pay. That's a fancy way of saying you are fired. Call it what you want, that is what it was. And I remember thinking I wasn't really crazy enough I wasn't really sad about it I was mad I was absolutely mad because it was unjust uh, it was un, it was un, there was no basis for it It was silly frivolous reasons um, and he was just looking for a reason to get rid of me because him and I butted heads from day one like I said we just didn't have the same vision at all um, and crazy enough I resigned the next day and retired and I remember thinking thank God because I did not realize how unhappy I was, how miserable I was, how unfulfilled I was. And I would have never, um, probably I would not have retired. And I had 10 years left or 13 years left. Some people go to 30, some people go to 33. And listen, all I knew was education. All I knew was education. And so that was, um, I could have crawled into a deep hole and just said, oh, poor pitiful me, oh, woe is me, and just been whatever, right? Collecting my little measly um, retirement check every month for the rest of my life and being like, oh, you know, I just retired. Listen, that's not me, it's never been me. I've always been um, thankful, grateful, resilient, a hard worker, all the things, and it was absolutely a blessing in disguise um, because the very next week, I enrolled in real estate classes and um, fell in love with real estate from day one, which is crazy because I didn't know anything about real estate. But what I quickly realized was not having a boss and being in charge of my own destiny was just so, so like anything I never knew before. So my point is this, be thankful for the little things be thankful and grateful for all the little things that you have on a daily basis. In fact, one thing I do every morning after I do my morning exercise is I journal. And in my journal, I write all the things that I'm thankful for. And every day, it's, it's the same things, of course. It's family. It's friends. It's my flexible schedule. But there's always different things that happen that have happened the day before that I'm looking forward to in order to be happy and grateful and thankful and successful, I think that we should always have something to look forward to. And it can be something as small as going to get a pedicure. It could be something as spending time with your family in the afternoon when you get off work. It can be whatever, but you must have something to look forward to. 
something to look forward to. So in order to be successful, I think number one, you have to be grateful and thankful for the little things. Those little things will turn into big things. And when you're thankful for the little things, those big things are going to come. I find if you're just not a thankful, grateful person in general, when those big things happen, sometimes you don't even realize that they're, they're blessings, right? And anything, I believe that anything that bad happens, bad things happen to all of us all the time, right? That's life. Bad things are going to happen. Good things are going to happen, but bad things are going to be ha are happening. And I believe that every single thing, no matter if it's good or bad, it happens for a reason. There's a reason. As bad as it was, the day that that superintendent came into my office and said, I'm putting you on administrative leave without pay, as much as it was a slap in the face to me at that moment, about 10 minutes later, I realized, wow. It was almost like I had been set free. I had been released from prison because I wasn't happy. And I don't know that I would have left. And it was absolutely a blessing in disguise. So be thinking about all the things that have happened to you over the course of your over the course of your life. And listen, some terrible things have happened to me. In in when I was 19 years old, living with my dad, second semester in college, he died of a massive heart attack. And it was one of the saddest, worst times of my life. But looking back on it now, it forced me to be strong. It forced me to be independent. It forced me to grow up so fast. And it absolutely changed the trajectory of my entire life. If I had lived with him, um, I don't know that I would have moved out for a very long time. I was still living with him. I was 19 going to college. I was forced to, we were forced to sell his house because he had remortgaged it. Little did we know, I didn't know that. Um, and my brother and sister went back to live with my mom and I moved away to college and listen, didn't have a penny, was paying my rent with Discover, with my Discover cards. You know how when you get those Discover cards, um, that you, they send you those checks where the interest is a gazillion dollars? That is what I used to pay my rent in college because I had no money. I had a little job, I was going to college full time, uh, I didn't have enough money for anything really, and especially not for rent. But it forced me to think differently than I ever would have had to think if he had not have died. Um, and listen, I miss my dad every day. I, I, you know, it's crazy to think it's been, um, that was in 1994. So it's been what, 34 years, crazy. Crazy because it feels like it was just yesterday. And at that time, I didn't think I'd ever get through it. Um, but I did, and we do, and we get through hard things, and we get through um, bad things that happen to us because it makes us who we are. And I, for so many years, I was embarrassed of the upbringing that I had. I was absolutely embarrassed of it. But what I quick realized in the last probably 10, 15 years is that None of us have a perfect childhood. None of us have a perfect life. We all have experiences. We experience different things, but it's about how we handle those things that take us to where we need to be. We are in charge of our own success and our own destiny, but it begins with being thankful and grateful and happy for the little, little, little things that happen to us on a daily basis. Just my two cents. You have a great Friday. Enjoy your weekend. And if you ever have questions real estate related, reach out to me. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Listen, I have lots of new listings coming soon. I have a great one in Church Point. I have a beautiful one in the historic area of Crowley. Um, I have lots that are currently listed. If you go to uh, DorlaCancel.com, you'll see them all there. Go to my Facebook page. Um, and lots of new listings I know coming soon. So remember this, if you're a seller, there are never enough homes for buyers. There's never enough to choose from. Um, and I'd love to work with you. Remember, there are no stupid questions in real estate. Y'all have a great week, a great weekend. Stay safe on the roads. And if there's anything I can do to help you, please do not hesitate to contact me. I'll take care.